This is Kingsdale. Though it may seem drab and lifeless, it is in reality a thriving habitat for vermis. Welcome to Worm of the Week. Look, a worm. There. This is Charlie, a European petit worm, a rather small worm, often found hiding by logs. Their distinctive deep pink colour and lack of limbs distinguishes them from other animals. Oh, look, there's a little nipper. This is Scrimbo. Known as a rock worm, the reason for its name is obvious, it listens to absurd amounts of rock music. If you listen closely, you may hear it. Amazing. The rare Tommy. This incredibly small, miserable worm has a habit of irritating any who come across it. Pathetic. I've been tracking this one for a while. He's legendary. Goliath. <laughs> this is Goliath. We have captured this specimen for your viewing pleasure, but Vermophiles, if you encounter a worm like this without protection, run. It has been known to take down birds of prey and on occasion, human children. Do you hear that? Is that a worm noise? This is Wormo the wormicidal maniac. Despite its violent name, this is a surprisingly harmless worm. This worm is often sensationalized in film, irreparably harming the conservation efforts. This is Ahab. This particular worm is brought to you at great cost. Ahab is known for its electromagnetic warfare abilities, evolving convergently with the electric eel. It is these abilities that severely damaged the seven cameras used to record this footage. At reports that a wild worm is inhabiting this window. There he is. This is Gillis. Its species is not native to Kingsdale soil, and as you can see, it is recklessly risking exposure to birds on a windowsill in order to peek into Kingsdale lessons. Therefore, we strongly suspect Jersey is in fact a Dulwich College spy. This is Alabaster. Their species is known for their woody qualities, such as being highly flammable and floating in water, much like a duck. This is Legolas. This legged worm evolved legs in order to help this worm quickly traverse rocky environments. As you can see, this worm escaped us soon after we captured this footage. This is Zanzibar. It's rather intelligent, for a worm at least. Its species- Hey, I can hear you. Its species is also known for its high resilience to- Are you just going to ignore me? Trying to record a highly important documentary here? You humans think you're so superior, prancing around with all your hands and feet. I'll have you know that worms invented the bicycle seat and the shoelace. Worms are clearly the superior- Alright, that's enough out of you. Stop! <laughs> Is that a worm? Hmm? In my book? 
This is business, boy. Earthworms are made up of many rigid segments. They are covered in minute hairs, which allow them to grip the soil and move. They usually live in the soil's top few centimeters, but will burrow deeper to find essential moisture if the earth dries out or freezes. This is Long. As you may have noticed, he is long. This incredible length allows him to avoid predators, such as the deadly pigeon, by blending in with snake herbs. A pair of interrelated worms. This is Jake and Melody, two worms of differing social caliber. While Jake is a rather simple worm, taking delight in only sandwiches, rainbows, and hats, Melody is highly driven, aspiring to become a wormed leader, an Olympic surfer, and a prolific jazz player. These two worms support each other in their ambitions. Lava. This small, though practically a mobile worm, instead utilizes its massive energy stores to undergo nuclear fusion. The volunteer you are seeing now received ninth degree burns and died a slow, agonizing death due to severe radiation poisoning. These are the Three Musketeers. We do not know when or where this name originated, since they have never been seen using muskets, though it is rumoured to have been started by Alexander Dumas. The leader, Slander, with an A, is more adventurous than your average worm, causing others to flock to him as the leader. Sliver gravitates to others due to safety in numbers, and tends to be more cautious than his compatriots. But when his friends are in danger, he flies unhesitantly into action. This is Simon. What can you say about Simon? What hasn't already been said about Simon? We won't waste your time rehashing the legends. But personally, I find him a little overrated. Vermophiles. Prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. The following worm is so singularly fascinating that it may cause severe damage to the unfit. Viewers over 39 are at risk of heart attack. Viewers under 39 may wish to avoid viewing as it may infatuate you, leaving you consumed by obsession for the rest of your life. Now that you are sufficiently prepared, let the final worm begin. Down here, I imagine that we might find Here we have the filthy humans, callously endangering worms as they dominate the surface world. Although not actively malicious, their mindless stomping is a danger to all superior denizens of the ground. Worms, remember to be careful on the overworld as there is a risk of being trampled. Anyway, today's human... Ah!